select number of pagination links many times li tag so you will see what we mean in a second so pagination container dot find we'll find the ul tag that we just injected dot prepend to actually not prepend to we'll just prepend so basically what we're doing we get in the pagination link pagination container we find an ul tag in there so we prepend um that ul tag to we'll prepend li into that ul tag as you notice there's a difference we use prepend to here what we're doing is what we've selected that's what we're prepending to pagination container but in this case we we have pagination container so we are prepending li inside of the pagination container so that's the difference that's why we use uh, prepend to here and prepend if you're not sure just go to the jquery website here and just um, do a search for prepend to and then um, you will be clarified as to what that means okay so we prepare inside of it we we'll prepare an L li tag and inside of that li tag we will have this uh, pagination number so let's say we have three pagination links here we'll need three li tags the first one with number one and the second one with number two and the third one with number three so how we do that is we'll use a plus sign here and then since indexation in javascript oh sorry guys <laughs> this will be index uh, yeah um and we need a semicolon here yep let's go so since indexation in javascript starts um sorry in our for loop starts at zero we'll need to say index plus one here so that we won't have a number zero an li tag with the number of zero we'll start from one up until three okay that's done so now guys let's um go to our browser and then refresh this and see what we have right now it's always good to check what you have before you finish the whole work so we'll do a refresh if we come down here we'll see that we have a um, we have li tags but it's in the reverse that's not what we want we want it to be starting from one to four not from four to one so what happened um hmm, interesting so index plus plus hmm interesting oh I know what happened we needed an append so yeah let's refresh that yeah that worked so what append does uh, that's another thing that you can check out but I'll just briefly explain what the difference is between append and prepend so prepend adds an item to the start of the element that you want to add it to Le if we said prepend li inside of pagination container what it does is it adds it to the beginning of the pagination container say inside of here inside of our pagination here uh, we select the ul we say prepend it adds everything that we prepared it adds it to the beginning but now that we say append it will add it to the end inside of the end of that element so the first time we look through here we'll have a number one an ally with a number one to um prepend so it will add number one to the top then number two then number three number four it was doing it in the reverse before that's why we had number four to one so now that that's complete what we need to do next is um, get these elements and then add um, we'll have to select pagination container dot find ul with li tag dot on click
so we'll select um, our ally tags and then add a click handler to them so if any of them have been clicked what we want to do is we want to hide the rest of the elements that start from page 2 to page 4 when we click on 1 we want to hide elements corresponding to page 2 and 4 when we click on page 2 we want to hide elements corresponding to page 1 page 3 and page 4 likewise for 3 and 4 when they are clicked okay so now that we we've, we've um, found the li tag and then we say on click what we want to do is um, let's figure out which items to hide first we say var items to hide and then we'll do a var items to show okay let's define items items to show is the item is the post that are not um, items to um, hide so we're going to select post what we're doing here we're selecting every post inside a document and then saying any post that is not the items to hide which is this show them okay now let's define what items to hide is so first what we're going to do is we're going to select um, link number how we do that is since this is the um, this is adding a click event handler to the link li tag of um, of the link that we clicked on it's represented by jQuery's this dollar sign this so we'll select the text inside of it what's that doing I'll show you quickly all it's doing is just selecting the text inside of this li element when this is clicked it will get number one when the next one is clicked it will get number two so that's all we're doing here so we've got the link number now so now we've come to the hardest part but no panic we'll um, get through together guys trust me on this okay enough bragging <laughs> alright so um, okay um, actually what we need is to get um, the number on the link like um, the link number so we'll say um, link number and how we select that is using this dot text so we'll, we'll now um, select the items to sh hide so the items to hide are items to paginate that is all the posts on the page dot filter all the ones that are um, less than less than the link number times times items per page that is how many items you want to show on a page so we say settings dot items per page so link number times settings dot items per page minus one so we've got the first set of items to hide that is the ones before the selected um, links so just to demonstrate what we're trying to do is we're trying to select when you for example when you click on the number two we're trying to select all the items that corres all the posts that correspond to number one which we've done here as of yeah now so now we have to select the remaining items that we want to hide that is the items that come after the um, clicked on link so now we want to select items corresponding to link three and four so we'll do that here so then how we do that is we'll we'll um now that we selected the items before we'll just concatenate by concatenate i mean merge so there's a jquery function called merge so that will take what we need and 